Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 30th of October, Saturday of the week of Pentecost 22. Both the reading and the prayer are John Chrysostom 3:44 to 407. The reading first. We differ from unbelievers in our estimate of things. The unbeliever surveys the heavens and worships them because he thinks them a divinity. He looks to the earth and makes himself a servant to it and longs for the things of sense, but not so with us. We survey the heavens and admire him that made them, for we do not believe them to be a God, but a work of God. I look on the whole creation and am led by it to the Creator. He looks on wealth and longs for it with earnest desire. I look on wealth and condemn it. He sees poverty and lamentations. I see poverty and rejoice. I th see things in one light, he in another, just so in regard to death. He sees a corpse and thinks of it as a corpse. I see a corpse and behold sleep rather than death. And as in regard to books, both learned persons and unlearned see them with the same eyes, but not with the same understanding. For to the unlearned, the mere shapes of letter appear, while the learned discover the sense that lies within those letters, so in respect to affairs in general. We all see what takes place with the same eyes, but not with the same understanding and judgment. Since therefore in all other things we differ from them, shall we agree with them in sediments respecting death? And the prayer. O death, where is your sting? O hell, where is your victory? Christ is risen and you are abolished. Christ is risen and the demons are cast down. Christ is risen and angels rejoice. Christ is risen and life is freed. Christ is risen and the tomb is emptied of the dead. For Christ being risen from the dead has become the leader and reliever of those who have fallen asleep. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen.